Good evening on an extraordinary day in our history that's left Australia in a leadership vacuum. The situation tonight is that Malcolm Turnbull is clinging to power as Prime Minister, even though his supporters have abandoned him. And three Liberal heavyweights, including WA's Julie Bishop, are working the phones to claim his job in a head-to-head -head showdown tomorrow morning. Well, good to welcome you. A day that will live in infamy in Australian politics. Australians will be rightly appalled by what they're witnessing in their nation's parliament. Left Malcolm Turnbull crippled, desperate, clinging on and fighting to the death. Uh, I, I don't want to... Um, I regret... As senior ministers resigned and his support crumbled. Malcolm Turnbull, for now, is going nowhere, setting up hurdles. I now await a letter uh, with the signatures of a majority of the party room. Before he calls a special meeting for high noon tomorrow. These are momentous times and it's important that people are accountable. If a spill motion is carried, he'll stand down and quit Parliament, forcing a by-election. I've made it very clear that I believe that former Prime Ministers are best out of the Parliament. But the consequences could be much greater, even more destructive. The public will be crying out for an election, clearly. There's another reason he's waiting, and Malcolm Turnbull up the ante, holding Peter Dutton hostage until advice from the Solicitor General expected in the morning about whether he's eligible to be in Parliament at all. Over questions whether his business interests have got government subsidies. This issue of eligibility is critically important. You can imagine the consequences of having a Prime Minister whose actions and decisions are questionable because of the, the issue of eligibility. The crisis that deepened overnight grew darker by morning. Peter Dutton spoke to the Prime Minister, told him he'd lost the support of the party room and demanded a meeting to spill the leadership. I wouldn't have uh, contacted the Prime Minister if I didn't believe that we had a uh, majority of support. It got worse for Malcolm Turnbull when key backers, loyalists Matthias Corman, Mitch Fifield and Michaelia Cash went to his office, tapped him on the shoulder and resigned from Cabinet. It's with great sadness and a heavy heart we believe that there should be a party room meeting to resolve uh, the issue of the leadership of the Liberal Party. I did not want to be uh, here in this position. We uh, cannot uh, allow uh, this situation to continue. These are uh, difficult circumstances. I do not believe he has the confidence of the party room. By mid-morning there'd been a wave of resignations. Twelve quit deserting the Prime Minister. Others were standing behind him. I've spent the morning with the Prime Minister uh, and the evening with the Prime Minister and I am 100% supportive of the Prime Minister. If Malcolm Turnbull stands down, Peter Dutton will contest the leadership against Julie Bishop and Scott Morrison. This morning he led the Prime Minister into the House. Amid the chaos and effectively without a ministry, the government shut down the House of Representatives. I move that the House do now adjourn. Avoiding question time and the risk of a motion of no confidence. This is the ultimate admission of surrender of a bankrupt government of a failed government. The Senate went ahead with a no confidence motion and the demand that whoever's Prime Minister call an election. It has been an extraordinary spectacle. It has been an extraordinary spectacle of, 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 of disunity, of division, of personal hatred. We've got this spectacle, this disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves. The Prime Minister was equally furious with his own and some in the Conservative media for a campaign to bring down a leader more popular than his opponent. A minority in the party room, uh, supported by um, others outside the parliament, have sought to bully, intimidate others into making this change of leadership. Late in the day, the Dutton camp withdrew the petition, saying it was now up to the party whip to call the Liberals together, and a dark day in Canberra rolled into an uncertain night that held the promise of chaos in the morning. Chris Yulman, Nine News.